Hey friends, let's learn this today. I have a task list and when I click on the checkbox, the timestamp automatically appears here. To do this, we will use IFS formula that is ifs formula with three simple conditions. Let's learn how to do it. And also remember when I click on the timestamp, it says true. And when I don't click, it says false. So these boxes are made of true and false. Let's start. First is I'll say equal to IFS open bracket. If the box is unchecked, that is false. So I am saying if B2 is equal to false then i don't need anything on the timestamp so that would be blank this is our first condition let's say comma go to the next condition if i check the box and the timestamp that is in the c2 is still empty then i want excel to record the current time so to do that we will say if formula where we are writing our timestamp that is c2 is equal to still empty then i want timestamp to be recorded so for that we'll use a now formula gives us the current time comma now here is the important part once the timestamp is recorded we don't want excel to keep updating it again and again every time the sheet recalculates so we will write true to meet the condition and we want the same thing which is there in c2 so we'll just write c2 close the bracket and enter it says zeros when i click on the checkbox nothing appears for this you'll just go to file click on the options click on the formula and check this enable iterative calculations and say okay now when i click this i get the date format but this is not in the date format so very easy press Control one go to custom and use the date and time format and say okay now see you got it now i will drag this to the other cells and now when i check this it will automatically record the timestamps if you like this please share and subscribe thank you so much